Music. Brick by brick by brick by brick by brick. I own 100% of Barcelona Sports. The sun, the moon, the Milky Way. It is getting so close, I can taste it. We can take a bite out of it. This is exactly, and I mean exactly, why Barstool Sports has to exist. It has to. Hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode of Barstool Radio. How is everyone? I feel like I have a a drama hangover since yesterday. That bad? That bad. I uh, hung over on drama, to be clear. Okay, hung over on drama, on, not on anything else. A drama hangover. We are entering Barcel Radio today after a bit of a blow up uh, af- yesterday. Dave was informed, I think maybe clued in a little more as to the the upcoming Nate Fridays. And uh, they, they've been tussling for two days. And uh, Dave is currently not in the office. He was in here before and he stepped out. But Nate, I think, will come down and maybe tell his side of the story. Um, what, how are we feeling about this? How are we feeling about this drama? That's I love when Dave's here. Because I, I love when Dave's here, too. First I of all, everyone is here. actually here. Yeah. Everyone is actually, like, tuned into what's going on. And shit like yesterday happens. Mm-hmm. But like we were talking about a little bit before the show, I would love to see Dave and the dog, but he has to be the dog. That's all it is. He, he can't has to be, be the like dog. Davey, uh, Nady Cronkite, like Dave says. He's exactly. got to be the fucking the dog. I don't know. I like seeing people yell at each other, so that was fun. I like Unless it's me, then I'll have an existential crisis afterwards. But everyone else to yell at each other is fine. We all we all feel the same with that. We all have the existential crisis when we're in the middle of a fight that we thought that we wanted to be in, and then we decided, oh, I'm actually too tired for this, and my mood is bad, and I don't want to be in it. <laughs> Which I feel happens all the time. How are you feeling, Francis? I have a, I have a hard time with this one I, because I have – so many thoughts and uh share them with us it's far you go and none of them matter i just i just <laughs> it's like i i have to just tell myself it's not worth it yeah you sound like nate yeah he says do. it's not worth but what uh dog. but what isn't what exactly isn't worth it what do you mean i i mean i don't know <laughs> what's your idea you guys know where i stand on all of this true true maybe 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 we can tell a secret you can just whisper and nobody will hear it I think that Nate has a, a an inaccurate evaluation of himself. I think that's in, a in what very sense? succinct way to put it. Uh, I think that my guess is that he believes that tenure and longevity at this company somehow lend themselves to winning roles and positions. And that's not the case. It's a meritocracy. This is a content company. Mm-hmm. You know, if we hired a rookie tomorrow and they were lights out on tiktok that person's gonna get elevated beyond someone who's been here 10 years but isn't getting views i i think that's always been the way and um i think i think nate probably feels like he's earned this seat on barstool Mm -hmm. radio and that's (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you don't that's think that's just, like you don't think that's the case just, but i think they're all quite literally like quite when, when we did barstool uh breakfast yes i had to literally audition for that yeah i did <laughs> i did <laughs> multiple that, test shows that's correct I, I didn't know that can you walk us through that i actually i did not know you did to do those things yeah so basically they had hired julie stewart banks and had decided oh we, wow i forgot about her we signed the deal with sirius so they had to populate an entire day of radio and there were a series of shows and they wanted to give her the morning show, 7 to 9 a.m., which was considered a, a pretty good spot because it's the morning drive time and stuff. And um, there were a lot of people, a lot of people who were considered for that role. Paul Mercurio, comedian in New York City, uh, the NHL enforcer, Sean Avery, mm-hmm. tested for it. Um, a lot of people were re- Willie Cologne, obviously. Um, and then I think. Believe it or not, I'm not just saying this. Liz Gonzalez read for it. I know. Yeah, I, yeah. I remember that. Um, and uh, I had to test with her. And there were all kinds of just different people that were coming in and out. And I think Julie had um, discretion over selecting finalists and stuff. And so I had to do multiple ten test 10-minute, 10 15-minute segments that never made it to air. And it turned out that the best chemistry felt like 
Julie, me, and Willie. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Willie was like, you know, even even more clear in a way than I was. But ultimately, it was decided that the three of us would be the show. And I was really excited about it um, because that was a huge break for me. I, I thought of that course, was... Of course, of course. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's how it happened. But it was like, you know, I, I had not... I was not being considered until I think Julie specifically told Dave and Erica I've met that Francis guy he seems funny let's give him a shot he yeah. seems hot I think yeah, they yeah, were yeah. that's yeah that was her real <laughs> I think they how's were thinking feel? yeah how's exactly how's it feel <laughs> no no you guys I remember because oh, I remember all this no that's okay down. Pat <laughs> if, if people keep a- apologizing on this fucking show <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna lose it that's crazy all right, all right. Oh, you're Apologize. you're you're feeling bad uh, that you scarred. joked scarred. that he's I was scarred because he called you a, a lesbian yeah. last week, so he's worried about. And I didn't reputation. know she could read my mind, which yeah. is crazy. <laughs> People, I I used uh, to be sensitive. Yeah, you're still sensitive. Okay, I'm you're neurotic. So zebra don't change its stripes. I'm neurotic. Yeah. I but think, I uh, but I am a comedian. Right. You can tell me to, that my family is a bunch of whores, <laughs> it's and then I'll be like me. Your dad sucks dick for a living. And that's how it'll go. And we'll high five and love each other after. Yeah. Good. I think your threshold is different than it used to be. I think there used to be a point where you would be like, okay, that's en- like enough, too much of a beating in one day. Like, that's it. And I think now you your limits have, have been pushed like uh, further out, you know? There's more bandwidth on it. But I still think that, that you get sensitive. I get sensitive also. I get sensitive, but... Um... I get over it much more quickly. For sure, I think, for sure. I think is the is the truth of it. I think that's that's the only way to do it. But anyway, okay. So I, from an outsider's perspective, at that time when Barstool got uh, the Sirius XM deal, we it was the coolest thing in the world. I because I was a I'm always a, a listener of things. Like I always did podcasts, uh, you know, radio shows, audiobooks, whatever. I'm always talking about. But so I was p- really pumped about it. Remembering the drama. Of, of who was getting what time oh slot, God. who was on what shows. I remember when like the radio lineup was announced and people having problems with why aren't I on this, mm. why aren't I on this. And I feel like, at least that's what it was like from the outside. Internally, it may have been set in stone and nobody could say shit, but it seemed like conversation and drama. Oh, internally, it. it was a fucking... Julie it was a nightmare, had right? way too much fucking power. Well, she then she, she ended up leaving... Well, she had a lot of bachelorette parties to get to. Yeah, it was like, I remember, I remember she correctly. like... I, I like her. Like, I like her to be fair. Uh, no, I that's... like her. I thought she was. N- I did like her. Yeah. I thought she was nice. But like, I remember like clawing tooth and nail to like scrape up enough money to fucking eat to take a fucking subway here at six in the morning. And she was like, "I got you for the producer role." The producer role is like great. Well, the entire time behind my back, she was trying to hire her buddy. So she was like sneaky. Oh, forcing that's me so out. annoying. And then that fucking piece of shit Mark Cohn who worked here. Oh God. The oh, same God. Thing. No, no, no. Fuck him. Fuck honestly. that Whoa. fucking piece of shit. The whole time he's like, "You're he just said- not ready for the job. You're not ready for." The job. I was like, "What's the job? The Mark job Cohn's- is sitting there with a piece of paper at six in the morning, giving it to him, turning up mics, putting them down, and he like painted me in some light." to like fucking Erica that like, I'm not ready for the job. A fucking moron could do this job. Marcone, I swear Ugh. to God, it set me back five fucking years. You know that we had, we already had, like Cutting Sense exists now, by the way. Uh, it's, go check it out, Chicks in the Office platforms. We had a Chicks in the Office, a different version. It was called uh, Barcel After Party and it was myself, Trent, Dave was on an episode one time. Like it was this whole thing. It was yeah. exactly Cutting Sense, but it was, you know, what it was. And Marcone would not let us stream it anywhere but facebook he was like it has to be on facebook and that's the way and we were like okay well no one's ever gonna fucking see this and then that was it and then it that it, it fizzled out and then we brought it back cutting stems and it's we've been doing it for four years so i i get so mad when i think about him that was the most I stressful share time your thoughts. probably of my career of my career here that was probably the most stressful time because i was so close to becoming full-time but this mm-hmm. fucking cock was standing in my way of yep. like <laughs> Just cock block and just like not being genuine, like being disingenuous and like saying one thing and doing the other. I found that it always, especially in this place, what goes around comes around. Yep. But like that was something that I was genuinely confused, like what is happening. But the whole time he was trying to hire someone else instead of me. So people don't forget. People don't forget. I'm trying to get. And by the way, you shouldn't forget. No, never forget. You don't forget things like that. Because then you'll be sitting here six years later getting just boiling over it. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's it's fine to be boiling over it because, yeah, it's frustrating, especially when when you're working hard and you're doing, you you know, you're doing your best. Guys, you should forget. Why? Dude, you don't forget. Because you're doing better. 
Well, true, true. But but here's the thing is you you shouldn't forget because you need to learn from that experience. So when someone you think you know what the fuck is up and somebody else thinks that they know what the fuck is up, if you're really serious about like, hey, like in that situation, I should have done and and maybe you did, I'm not sure. I probably should have had like a more of an open dialogue with Dave at that time, but I didn't yeah. feel comfortable. I, I didn't so know him very well. I was like, I don't know if he even likes me. Like, I, I don't know. But I knew that it was fucked up what was happening and I just kind of was like oh it'll play out the way it's gonna play out and I'm sure it'll all work out and it didn't fucking work out it took five years of me to deal with <laughs> bullshit and be buried under the ground and almost like give up all of this to be like I guess it's just not gonna happen for me like I really was like it's not gonna work and I swear to god I blame him for it yeah Julie wanted some producer to come in this is not like again the shit on Julie show but Julie wanted some producer no, 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 yeah. to She's, come Julie's in fine. to bring in and yeah. it was like what are we fucking doing here? Are yeah, you out of yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, I, I'll, I'll bring it all the way back around to uh, the the choices for scheduling radio, making shows, everything. I know, you know, obviously Rhea and Fran had a show on radio, and there was the the original OG Barcel Radio, which I believe the first cast ever was Dave, Kevin, and Caleb, Caleb. and Coley too, Coley. and Coley. I love Coley, yeah. and that was quite the crew. Yeah. And I also think it was a crazy hodgepodge of people. Like there it's important on these shows, I think, to have people that get along really well and mesh really well together, but also are like kind of different, but have enough similarities that we can like still get along. Mm -hmm. And I think that group of people was like a funny, quirky group that could like go off of each other. And I think with Dave in the mix also obviously elevates everybody else. Like your your energy's different when Dave's around. Like it's you you're more into it, you're more like on I guess you know and um, so I think that it really worked out now a few years later it's not Sirius XM anymore the the vibe of the show has changed the hosts have turned over a few times it's very different I think that it's important to to just be a show that can um, you know could, they can move along, you know yeah. what I'm saying? They can move along, we have fun, we can make the jokes and at the end of it it's done because at that time jokes would be made and things would happen and then that would be the grudge forever. Like you you yeah. wouldn't speak to those people anymore. Like those were real fights because it was a smaller office, you couldn't escape anybody. Every single person would walk up to you and ask you about what the hell just happened. Like it was it was very much in your face. You couldn't avoid it. And it created a lot of like real life grudges that I think still kind of hold to this day. Like there are a few people that still have like radio grudges. Who? And like I feel like um you know who you know who gets upset about about radio because of uh, Dave is Smitty. Smitty still gets upset about yep. Brett Merriman with the airsoft gun and Dave yep. like giving him shit for it. I think <laughs> what that a day that was. I mean, crazy stuff. But like, and and then, but that was obviously like a super interesting day. But that, but those things are like that wasn't scripted. It wasn't calculated. Those things just happened, and then you get real time reactions, which was great for that kind of radio. Yeah. But this version of it, it isn't radio, it's not terrestrial, it's not serious. So the like live reactions can happen, but we don't always have like, we're not doing that kind of shit anymore. Like Brett Merriman's not here with an airsoft gun, so it's a little different. You know, do you get what I'm saying? Or am I talking? No, I get what, no, no, no. I get what you're saying. I mean, yeah. I just don't. Do we think Nate is gonna? Do we think Nate is gonna add to the show? Like, oh no, no, no. Do? Oh no, sorry. Don't get it twisted. I, oh, yeah, I, yeah. I was not championing for Nate. I was saying more. <laughs> no, no, not even close. I'm sorry if it came across that way. No, yeah. I think that Nate wants it to be. Wants to come in and like go back to drama. that. He wants to go back to that, which I don't think is the wrong mindset, but I do think. That he goes about it in the wrong way. I, I think, think if you're just, gonna do it, you gotta go all out. And right. He he. Like I said, he he dips a t he throws a stick of dynamite and then he runs away as fast as he can. Like that's his vibe these days. He doesn't really get pop off unless Dave's around. Yeah, I mean, I guess. What do you think? She's right. It, you know, it's this weird. Dipping. Like he'll be mad. Like I, I don't even know if he's done doing his thing. He might still be out there. I'm surprised he hasn't stormed in here. If if he if he is like were to be listening and wanted to do drama, like he would have stormed in here by now. You know. We told him to listen, and he said, uh, I won't listen, but if they want me to come on, I'll come on. Exactly. Why? That's the kind of shit that he'll do. So, like, if he were to hear me talking about this like this, he'd be so pissed, and he'd come storming in here, but he doesn't want to hear it because he needs to be invited. He needs to be courted. Can we he put out a bad like... signal? Can we, like, wave a, a red no. cape you know what? at the bull? Yeah, wave the... I think we should. Nate I... has a small penis. He uh, He's responsible for... Uh, the Business Insider article. Uh, he <laughs> Nate is the mole. Nate's the one I that's been talking that, to the New York Post. <laughs> I do think there's an element, though, that if you've been here a while, you do deserve a shot. Like, I think the dog For deserves sure. a that, shot that in, I some, think is in some capacity, don't you? you? You think that ship has sailed with Nate. You think it's, we know what Nate does on radio, therefore Nate should not be on radio. 
I, I, I just, I mean, has he? Well, like in what in what realm has he not had shots? True, he has like a lot of uh, you know how many he's been on the radio. Has he had a day though, like a full day to host. Do we think he can switch it on for a full day? I, I don't know. I, I'm not. I, I said this on the stool scenes thing. I'm not rooting against him. I would be happy if that Friday show became the cult classic leading episode of the week. It'd Hooray! Be It'd be great for everybody. Everybody wins. Would you guys do the show with him? I said. I said no. I don't think that I. <laughs> I just don't think that. Like I am too. Um, my relationship with Nate is is I can't handle like he'll glaze over details and I hate that. Where I'm like, you're saying one thing, but the actuality is different, and I'm gonna now call you out on it. And I can't like not do that. Like that's maybe that's a, a flaw of mine that if I hear someone kind of gl- gl- yada yadaing over important details, like yesterday being like, oh yeah, so I talked to Dave, and like he said it was all cool. Dave did not know until Pete told him that Nate was gonna be in charge of Friday Radio, and so I that's an important piece of the puzzle to yada yada over that is crazy to me. Well, Nate so, just wants but, his own show. No, I know, and he but he generalizes about a lot of topics, and I. And and that to me, like, it, it that so no. I if he wants a, a show where he doesn't get called out every five minutes for like glazing over the truth and lying, then he won't have me on the show, which is fine by me. Like I'm I'm okay with that. Maybe he's uh you know a Tim Dillon character who should run it by himself and have a, a distant second mic to throw to. Well, he said no. He doesn't want to do that. Nate. Uh, uh, Dave asked him if he was going to wear the mask and do like Nate. <sighs> that you know, with like a green screen, thing. like healthy debate. He doesn't want to do an hour of that every Friday. Nate in front of a green screen, taking calls all inside Barcel, where he just goes completely, you know, off the whatever the fuck. He goes nuts. There goes Jackie. I think Jackie. that's what it is. And Nate answers calls in the spider monkey mask about Barstool in front of a green screen every Friday at noon where he breaks it down. It's almost like a live power rankings where he breaks it down. He, Here's he said the drama yesterday he doesn't want to do it. Literally, we said that on the show. Why? I know. That's the he, whole he fucking He doesn't want to do any of these things. I, Should we, we get him in? Or no, you don't want him in. I I, I don't want to ask him in. I don't want him to think that we want him in here. Like now it's a fight. Now it's a fight. I don't I don't like his I'm not gonna lose him, but if they want me on, I'll come on. You know what the fuck we're talking about today, because you I blew up on Dave yesterday. You can come in and talk to us if you want, but I'm not gonna fucking beg you to come in here, Nate. He's, I'm not he's watching right now. Nate, okay, good. Nate. So come in here, Nate. Come fucking talk to me then. <laughs> Stop acting like no, for real. Like, stop You're on like, camera. We can see you. We can see you right now. Come in. Turn around, Nate, and give the camera the finger. Nate, I want to pitch you a show that I think would actually be perfect I'm not going to beg you. you. Pat wants to talk to you. I'm not going to beg you to come in here. I want come Nate in. Here. in. Nate, please. We can see your fucking computer, Nate. There's a camera right behind you. We can see that you're watching us. Oh, he's delayed also, maybe. So he's right, just now hearing Wait for him to catch this. up. Wait for him to catch up. All right. Are we going to see him jump up out of his chair? I fucking hope so. It's crazy. I think, He's I, honestly think, I honestly think I just solved the radio dilemma. I think it's healthy debate style with a green screen. Oh, he takes changed. calls from stoolies in He's the spider monkey now. mask and goes nuclear. And I think that's the fucking he, show that's, that's going to get numbers. He doesn't want to do that. Call in. He's ignoring. Look, he's back on Twitter. He's ignoring us now. He d- I understand I, I'm not why he doesn't want to do it for the mental health aspect. Whatever you're gonna get. For it's sure. It's like getting to a but fight. He didn't say that. He didn't. Yourself. He didn't say that. So I, I don't know. Yeah, but that's, that's what it I'll is. Go, like, I'll go. I'll go so far as to say, Nate, if you can hear this, please, please join us. Yes, please. Wow, Francis is being the nice one. That's good. Please join us. Good cop. You be good cop, because right, I, that, I, my patience wears thin. Is the thing. Like I don't want to. Nate has a lot of power over me. He does he power over you as as judge and jury of which of my blogs get oh. published. Well, then it's power over the over the blog, and uh, I have had to get go along to get along because uh, I I don't I don't deserve discretionary power over my own blogs. I, I feel the I, same. I given that either. I was fired for one that hurt the company, and and I agree him. with that. I need a lifeguard. Um, and he he has that position and so i, I you know uh it's a frustra- it's a tough it's a thankless job he has in many ways because mm-hmm. um, and hubs by the way having to tell someone like we're not running your blog when someone's spent a long time working on that or they think it's good and you know he it's it's not easy to know what is in dave's interest or like what what would be good for the company and i have written things that i thought were great and nate has explained to me this is not gonna go Mm -hmm. and i've had disagreements but he could be right i I, i'm too close to it to know 
mm-hmm. what the right answer is. And the only option is to like run it all the way up the flagpole to Dave, which you don't really want to do. Well, it's a, it's always do I feel pa- like passionately enough about this piece to ask Dave if I can put it on the internet? Like that's what it comes down to. Because and, and the answer is if, always no. It's always no. <laughs> like if they say if they say like no, it's not going to fly. Like I, half the time, like if I think it'll be a weird topic or something, I'll ask them in advance before I even write it. Like, hey, I want to write about this topic. This is the angle I'm going to go for. Is this going to get bounced or no? And if they say no, yes, like it depends on, then I'll move forward. I don't do that because I've learned that the moment you ask permission, you put someone on a very cautious right. footing where they're now looking at it through a lens of this is going to be a problem. True. But I, but the stuff I'm asking about, like sometimes I'll, there'll be like a story about like, oh, I'm trying to think of an example of something I've asked recently. The Pope, I, I almost wrote about the Pope a couple weeks ago because the Pope was like, oh, like, I think he said like gay marriage is fine. But then there was also like, like but then there was like a fine print to it that I didn't realize at first. So I had asked, I was like, oh, I'll, t- you know, the Pope, Pope is cool. Like I'll write how the Pope is cool. And then I was like, oh, you know what? Never mind. There's like a little fine print and I don't want people to be like, actually, it's not saying this. And it just seemed Ugh. like a setup for something bad. So I ended up not writing about it. But that kind of thing is what I would ask about. Hmm. See, this is exactly that, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. This is exactly what I'm thinking about. Like, with I can't get Nate off my mind now. If you want to have a radio show, this is this would be primo radio. Well, also, right now, come in. He let could us be using the, the show. He could be using this whole week as yourself. promo for Friday. Like, that's another thing we could be doing. Like, you could be you could be doing that. But again, I'm not here to police police his. Uh, I texted him what to he wants to do. Oh, here we go. Is this him? No. Oh, I that's it's, Diego. It's Diego. Diego's trying to get him. Trying to get him. He says no. Diego with his quafted hair. D- Diego. This is, this Diego. is what I'm saying. Like, if you don't, if he's you want to, oh, he's coming. He he's is coming. coming. All right, I want to pitch him this show because I think I, I almost want to see if he can. I got to figure out what his energy is. No, we should he gets do. in here. He's we... either going to come in hot or he's going to come in like I just want to work on Fridays. Kelly, guys. You should it's say be if, one or the other. If he does one, I want to see him try that format. And then, is there some sort of reward that we can give the dog if you try what? Oh, oh, to the do the screen? to the green screen thing. He won't yeah. do it. He already says he doesn't want to. I figured out I have a great show for you on Friday. If you want to hear my idea, I don't know if you listened or not. I think just twist it around, no? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the we have Nate, Eric, Nathan. He's here after we begged and pleaded. High energy. Did you hear me? Uh, did you hear me? Hear me say, "Come in," on the radio. I said, please come join us. You weren't listening? Here's my idea for Radio Friday Night if you want to hear me out. I think it's a good thing. I am on your side. I think if you want to do a Friday show, I think that's great. My idea for a show for you that I think would be fucking hilarious is Greens, and this would appease Dave, and I think it would take mentally what, what am lot. i walking into just we're talking about like no, we're talking about you on radio and how your show's gonna be on friday we're talking about how you wouldn't come in here to chat about it even though we saw you on the camera watching radio and then turning it off so we know that you're listening and oh, i have it muted when i'm working okay well okay. you were watching it with your eyeballs just, Nate. you're just like, we, watching stop like silent you, 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 there's radio? a camera behind you like no, I, what I'm kind aware. of a fucking no. psycho shit is that i always mute stuff when i'm like reading blogs you weren't reading blogs you were watching the show it doesn't matter we reading saw you watching the show Mike we were Sox dave's blog okay you weren't though oh, zelda you could see her face. we could literally you could literally see right i have like Kelly. four tabs open. oh nate it was a full five minutes i totally yeah. understand what you're saying i would listen to zero radio today you were watching fu- you're fucking crazy right now for saying I was that reading chat. we watched you watch i was it. reading all the l's in chat you are, you are. I was reading everybody oh. saying L, 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 L. Okay, this show okay. stinks. This show stinks. So he has it on mute and good, he's good. reading this L's is, in I'm the chat. jerking off to everybody saying how okay, much good. this show sucks. In the middle of the office? How do we make yeah. it? That's a, that's an HR violation. There's so much cum somebody. everywhere out there. How do yeah, we make it, it better? Fall? How do we make it better? Well, one, you bring on me, the only person who's keeping this show running. Here it is. Here it is. Here's what I think you should do on Friday. I think it's Tell me, Pat. green screen. Tell me, the Howard Stern of radio, Pat. Tell me <laughs> what I should do on Friday. I think it's green screen. You have the bastion of success of radio. <laughs> Tell me what I should do, Pat. <laughs> Kelly, go ahead. This. This is exactly what you should do. Oh, wow, Pat. Thanks, man. He's a, hey, hey, by the way, his idea is good. You already have turned it down like five times. His idea is good. Let him present it to you again, and then you can turn it down and explain why you're turning it down, because this is excellent. You know that it's excellent. His idea is in tandem with this behavior, and if you don't want to do it, then I don't know why the fuck you want to do radio. So listen to him. It took 28 minutes oh. for you guys to get a good show going. Good job. What did you do the first Oh, oh I'm sorry. You were tuned to the fuck in for a full L, 25 L, over there, Nate. L, L, he L, watched L, you. L, he L, watched L, you. L, 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 Lelly Leagues, Lelly Leagues, Lelly Leagues. Lelly Leagues, Lelly Leagues. What's that? They okay. say that in the chat? Yeah, you put it yeah in the that's because I've got K's. Am so I even allowed else. to say it? 
Yes. I think it's you have a green screen with a spider monkey mask on. You take calls and you just do all inside Barstool for an hour. It's like your version of Healthy Our Debate. Original. Why won't you do that? I think that would make Dave, that would make Dave happy. I think it would be great radio. They've asked you specifically, are you going to wear the mask? Are you going to do plan. the thing? Don't you said no. Don't you worry no. about me. Don't you guys worry What's about wrong me? with the Can plan that I just it? presented? Let's hear the plan. No, no. Save that for Friday, Francis. All right. Fair enough. Give us a hint. So there's no, you have Seize no response it. to my pitch at all to you. That's just a straight up no. Good pitch, Pat. There's no, there's no response. Pitch. Good pitch. Even though Dave says that, that would be great. Him? I'm glad. Even though Dave says that would be great, even though people would watch, even though it would get numbies, even though you'd have your own show you're in control of, it's still just all terrible. Yes. Okay. Are you going to okay, apologize, gonna apologize for him for, for insulting his radio career no, when he, he had a nice idea? No, 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 no. He doesn't have to apologize. He doesn't have to apologize. Like, apologize. I like that. I think this is oh good. I just think Nate. You're going to apologize is... for 28 minutes of this show? I said show? you just yelled. You yelled at him for no reason. He had a oh good idea God. for you. He's, not, he's got your back. He has your back more than I do. Is it oh. just going to be like you and. 31 minutes till the yak. <laughs> 31 minutes till the yak. Count it down. Nate's lashing out. You are lashing out. You're, are you embarrassed because we caught you watching radio the entire time and then you. I wish I was listening. It? I wish I was listening yeah, and not right. reading chat. Okay. Why would you read the chat? You were listening. Because he's because he's he just said he's jerking off to the negativity. He's jerking off the negativity because he wants he wants people on his side. He wants people feeling good, and he wants uh, for him to feel good. We need to feel bad, which is he learned from the what? school of Dave Portnoy. He said it to Dave yesterday, but it's actually you. You're projecting, in my but opinion. Why are you bitter about me having a one hour show on? Friday? I'm not bitter at all, Nate. Why are you bitter? I I said yes. Do this. It's fantastic keep you on Friday. Do your thing on Friday so you get off my ass to come on radio every single day. Not on your ass. Yes, you, Nate. Nate. Not on your ass. Nate. When you say I'm on, I come in. When you say I'm not on, I stay Before away. Before that, though, you when you're texting me being like, do not squeeze me out of this. Do not. I I, I want to be on every day. Well, I mean, involved in Kevin, Kevin did call nine of us and offer. I know. So, But that's not my fault. Nate. That's not my fault. So why do you text me about it incessantly? D to find out when I'm on. If you don't want me I on, I won't a, be on. Do I send a schedule every every Sunday night? I think so. There's been yes. one, yeah, yes. so one two, Sunday. Two weeks. No, no, <laughs> two, two that weeks. Was a trick question. <laughs> but yeah. Two There's weeks. There's been one email. <laughs> there have been two emails. Uh, Kelly, Kelly does does lead with a good. Uh, if you don't want me on, I won't be on. You can continue doing Bachelor Talk, Barstool Sports Bachelor Talk. That's what the people want. It's been two weeks. Number I one. know what the people bring want. up their bios. Let's read their bios on the air again. Dude, the people want the dog on Fridays. That's what the people want. I'm excited to see it. You, Pat. I hope it's tremendous. I hope it's tremendous. I hope it's not just this. I hope it's yeah. tremendous. I hope it lasts. God, I hope it's not this. I hope it's something original and something, and something that your literal boss told you to do. Yeah, yeah. Or you can do just a shitty version of radio, or you can do something that your boss told you to do that would then elevate your radio career. And again, we're all here supporting your Friday endeavor, but thank you for shitting on the show that we're that we're putting I'm just on. Confused that you, that you, you beg to be on every single fucking just... day. Because I want to make this show good. Okay, so where are your fucking ideas? Every single again for the past three weeks we've been dealing with radio. Two emails, both emails. You're I've said, the head of I, the show. If you, it's your show. It's Kelly Keegs' show. Am I crazy right now? Am I being crazy right now? Uh, yes. Where I was asked with alongside you, Francis, to do this. Did I not have a meeting with all the people? Did we not have it? Was Nate in that meeting? No, he wasn't. Was he asked to be in that meeting? No, he wasn't. Did I not it's send your show? Multiple emails to the group. Multiple people to the group saying, if you have ideas, I would love ideas for radio. If you want to. I'll come with yourself, ideas for Kelly Keys. Do whatever you show. want. My bad. I didn't know. I Hand up. I didn't know I need to provide. Even though I'm not in any meetings, I'm not on any of that. I need to come Nate, with yes, ideas for your Nate, show. You're on got every got fucking it. email, Nate. You're on every fucking email. It. You just said I wasn't in any of the meetings. You just said that out loud. Meeting. There was one meeting. All right. I'll come with and ideas you for in. your show. I'll come with ideas Which for your show. I will. I didn't say that it's my show. No. I said that Kevin asked, like you said, a bunch of us to be in charge of it. Francis and I ended up spearheading it. We were in one meeting with production, and then I started I'm sending glad. emails, and including you and show. Pat and Gia and Tommy, and that's the crew. And I've now sent, I think, at least two, if not three emails, saying in each email, we're trying to do this. Everybody that has ideas that they want to submit for radio, this is great. We're trying to showcase each other, trying to think creatively. It's an opportunity. We've had text conversations about it. Do not fuck with me on this, Nate, because I swear to God, I'm sick of your shit. Every single time you send me a text message about this, it makes me want to blow my brains through the back of my fucking skull, and I can't hear about it from you anymore. So congratulations on the Friday situation. I hope it goes well. I hope you get everybody to come here and do it, but I am so sick of hearing about it, so stop texting me about radio. You if you want to talk about bitter. radio, talk to Francis. I, don't talk to me. Bitter. So he's just texting. Well, how is this on, making on, me on. bitter? I'm I'm heavens. done with you. I'm not bitter. I'm frustrated with your My bullshit. I'm heavens. sick of it. So he's just asking this, to come on, Kelly. And I think what it is. So I think so. What I I asked some people. Why is Kelly so upset about me doing? Who did you ask? 
I, I'm not going to name names. No, Nate, by the way, everybody tells me when you talk shit about me. You I don't. That, talk, right? I do not talk yes, shit you about do. you. Everyone I, tells me. I do Everyone not, tells I me. I do not talk shit I have people you. on stool stream texting me. I have I other people texting me. Everyone's, Nate's going off. Nate's going off. Nate's got a problem with you. It's all I've been hearing about. I do not talk shit about you. It's all I've been hearing I about. I do not talk right, Since about. radio has started, you've been talking I, shit behind my back. Everyone not, has been talking. I don't. I don't. I will say this. Nate has never said anything bad about you to me. Because I don't. I quite literally just don't. So the issue, Kelly, is you think he's just on your a- he's on your ass to be on radio and it annoys you? Twice, two texts in a row. I'm not trying to be squeezed out of this. I'm not trying to be squeezed out of this opportunity. I said, you're not. Chill, before, please. Yes. I'll talk to you later. That was before the show started. Yes. That's yes. fair. Yes. That was before the- Which that, is fine. And when, you didn't. And that is when Kevin called all of us and offered all of us- And it all happened very fucking yeah, fast. I agree. What I'm saying. But I then agree. You, you kept texting me about it. You kept coming up to me about it. You kept bothering me about it. And I said, I don't know what to do you right now. Two texts from Because no one is- ago. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. If you're gonna if you're gonna cut down everything I'm saying when it's facts, by the way, I don't want you in here. I can leave. Leave. Okay. Yeah. Oh, stay, 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 stay. We're getting somewhere, Nate. Where are we getting? If you're gonna act like that, where are we getting? I'm serious. I can't do it. I won't do that. I won't have him pretend like he hasn't been harassing me for three weeks. I stand by every single thing that Kelly just said. Thank you, Francis. Jesus Christ. Thank you for, thank you. Because I am not bullshitting when I say that I have been managing his feelings for three weeks. What do you mean managing his feelings? He's, he doesn't want to be left out. He feels like he's, he's getting squeezed out. He wants to be a part of it in some capacity every single day. That's the text I was looking for, the fucking novella. And then I said, relax, we just started this. It's brand new. We're trying to figure it out. I'm going to send an email on Sunday. I know everybody hates when I send these fucking emails, but there is no organization for the show. And there's too many people involved. And we need to make sure that there's somebody here every day. And who else is doing it? So why not me? So I'm doing it. He... Even with this Friday radio show thing, he kind of threw it out and was like, this is my idea, blah, blah, blah. I want to do this. And then I'm like, all right, talk to Nick Hamilton. Text him right away. He goes, oh, I was going to text him on Monday. I said, no, no, text him today because we need to have this happen and it needs to set into motion. And whatever you need to do to make it happen, it needs to happen. And so I text Nick Hamilton and say, hey, this is coming, by the way. Nate waits until Monday. Group chats like or group emails a bunch of people that aren't even involved and then now has to like go through go through Pete, go through Dave. None of that had to happen. It could have just been Nate's show on Friday. We would have had to send to Pete. That's like something that we have to do. Oh, okay. That right. is, well, that's that, well, that's that the is, thing I didn't know. Send like, to Pete and then Pete gets Dave's to sign off. On it. I like, just think it's like if right. your boss is saying do this show, like you should just do that show. But let's not get it twisted. I don't think Dave wants Nate to do the show. But I think if he was to do a show, that would be a version that he would want. Yes. If it, yes. If well, it, he said if that. Expi- has he said that it, explicitly. It this. And and I think that to your point, Pat, when Dave suggests a piece of content specifically that someone here should do, do it. Trust his vision. I, 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 he's the reason we are all here. Right. He's been right more times than he's been wrong. I remember uh, he specifically pulled me in one day and was like, hey, you know, those uh, this is Barstool sketches that you're doing are pretty good. We don't typically do scripted content, but you should probably do more of those. And I started making more sketches and that was a good lane for me for a while. Uh, (laughs) Then you got fired. (laughs) I don't think I got fired because of. No, of course. Yeah. Uh, But yes, I. I, I, You you listen to what he said to do. Yeah, If Dave tells me to do something. I'm going to go that you direction. Just, you just do it. He's usually on the hunt, you know? Like, I think that was great. That was good radio. But no, but it, but it's short-lived. Like, he can't he can't go that long. Like, he'll yell. He'll come in here. He'll yell. He'll turn it on. He'll pretend to be, like, whatever it is. But then that's what happens when you start throwing fats. He starts saying, like, you're bitter. You're this. You're that. Like, just trying to label in, like, a way that doesn't make sense to me. In no way do I give a fuck if Nate is on radio or not. I do not care. What I care is that if I'm on the show as well, if it's going to be good or not, and we don't always vibe. So right. I don't know. Like that's I'm thinking about that. I don't think that that's me being. Well, I bitter. think you care, you care a little bit if Nate's on the show or not. I think you would rather not. No, no, no but you would n- rather not do a show with Nate than do a show with Nate. Not every day. No, not every you, day. So you so okay. So you would you do want Nate in here some days? Which is exactly what's been happening. At your discretion. No, I've been asking him. I said I. The only people that are here every day are me and Francis. Everybody yeah. else is equal. Right. And so he says he wants more of the, he wants more I of the ask pay, him, more I ask pie. him his schedule every Sunday. I say, what's your schedule this week? Can you do this day and this day or which days are better? I have the same more, conversations he, I say with you. Yeah. And yeah. he wants, and he, just, and he wants to be on every day. And I, I don't want that Tr- transparency. I do not want to sit on a, a daily radio show with Nate. We don't get, I don't vibe with him. I 
get worn out by him. Nate, or Dave says the same thing, and I'm, you know, maybe that's rude, but I get worn down by him. Have you said that, like, explicitly to Nate until right now? Um, or is it just yes. been like, maybe he'll get the picture and no, then he doesn't get the no, picture? No, I'm pretty blunt about that all the time with Nate. Maybe not that in those exact words. Yep. I think that my exhaustion, generally speaking, with him comes across. We get in fights a lot. Like, we've fought about the blog on things. We get frustrated about shit like that. I'm trying to get gas in here. Who is that? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and, and we've had like, arg like really, really bad arguments sometimes. And then, you know, it's different though, because with Nate, everything always ends up getting personal. So you don't, I can't argue with Nate the way I want to argue with Nate because then it starts getting personal and start attacking you for who you are or how you're acting or what. And it's never about the issue at hand. And then if I'm presented with that, I'm going to come back with some, the same bullshit. I'm going to match energy forever. And eventually it gets personal. And I don't need a personal airing out of each other's bullshit on live radio and that will happen if i'm on a show every day with nate like that's just that's how he operates and i don't need that doesn't personally. part of doesn't part of that make good radio though i'm just playing devil's not if it's happening devil's all, no. the time. all the time not, not, not all the time so just, you think the balance of him coming in a couple days a week is perfect yes he wants a little more and friday and like, is so, the outlet so for friday him to do, do whatever more. you got to do be crazy say what you want and again i am not stupid in thinking that people need to hear me five days a week it's fine right. like i I'm sure that they'll love it. You know what I'm saying? Like people are not going to be disappointed that I'm not on a show with Nate and he's having his own day. Like that's who gives a fuck. That's great. It was literally best of all worlds. And now I just feel like it's, Dude, it's so fucking funny. It's crazy. Like it's crazy. He wants to turn it's it into so fucking good. Oh my God. I mean, it's just, it's peak. Here's large, large. It's exhausting. Looking great. They are looking great. Oh God, they both dude. look so slim. My God. I, I don't know how does. they, I don't know how their skin is so good. That's the thing I've never really understood is how they are able to keep keep such good skin. Yeah. Um, but not to deviate. I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I thank you, Kelly, for saying everything. You know, um, yeah. I. People will hate that. They'll hate the screeching. Why yell. would I they? I get pissed uh, off. Like the, I, I get like I, I just get really worked up. I get worked up about a lot of things. And if I'm pushed to a certain point and I'm being told that I'm not telling the truth or that I'm exaggerating when I'm really not, then I get pissed. Want to come about in, it. large? You want to come say hi? Oh. oh. See, see, like oh, part of me oh, understands like Nate's. I can see it from both sides. Like you don't want to work with Nate every day because he pisses you off. I get that. Also, I understand that if I'm Nate and I've been here for like 10 years and I've been trying to fucking get in, I would be neurotic about wanting to be on all the time too because I was in that position with sure. breakfast and with other stuff. You got to claw and claw and claw to like get in. Definitely. So but I then, almost feel I almost feel bad for the dog. But then here's here's Nate my question like, then. Here's my question then. If if that is the case then why am I not being told Nate should be on radio every day? No one has said that to me. Kevin did not say that to me. Dave did not say that to me. Am I the one, am I in charge or no? Like I can't, are we in charge or no? I would say that we've been told the opposite implicitly. Yeah, yes. Which is Dave has said, don't That's let this happen. That's what I'm saying. Happen. So like if, if. Don't let what happen? If things don't let change. Nate on the radio. He said yesterday, he was like, why are we trying to fail? Yes. Or whatever he said. <laughs> he said, why are we, are we trying to what did he say exactly? He was like, "Are we trying he said, to are we trying to drive rush the show, away? To like, ruin, yeah, ruin the show, and put out the worst content ever, or something like that?" If we want to, yeah. It. Oh yeah, yeah run it. Thanks, it Nick, for like, having our it back. It is a Quig's masterpiece. So. Oh good. Oh, then play it. I appreciate that. Oh, what's going on? Hold on, waiting for the sound. Hold on, yeah. Let's see if we can. I, I came. I don't know what we're doing with Parcel Radio, here in New York. Are we trying to get it not to work? Is that like? Let's see if we can put out the worst product and we'll see what happens. You're talking about Nate Fridays? Yeah, I'm talking about Nate Fridays. Yeah. He is <laughs> a proven track record of not being able to do content. It doesn't matter. He yeah. can't do it. Fine, throw him out there on Friday. <laughs> throw him so out there. Let's see back. how it goes. Look, Dave, we're losing $12 million a year. All hands on deck. We need people working on Fridays. If people want to come in on Fridays, it's not just like me doing a monologue to the YouTube and Rumble audience. We have other people in here. We just want to get together, do an hour of radio on Friday. Stuff happens on Thursday that should be talked about on Friday. It's a travesty that we're not working on Friday already. A plus, but why you? You know what? Why not me? <laughs> because you anybody can be a star, Dave. Pour no, it into no, the no, thing. No, 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 Take the can, no, pour no, it into no, the star. No, no, no. Yeah, you know true. what I'm talking about. No, no, you know the painting. You're an editor. You know the painting. You're an editor. Anyone can be a star. You come into Barstool Sports. Anybody can do anything. You cannot. Besides be a star. Nate. 
Besides Nate, you can't. Anybody, you know what you do? You shovel my glitter out of the star. That's We've what you do. You go month. in and you, you go in late at night. You tiptoe in no. and you shovel my glitter out. No. And then you go in the company meetings. Anybody can be a star at oh. Barstool. Alex Cooper. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, you and Alex Cooper. <laughs> not <laughs> Nate though. Yeah, it's always Davey, Alex. not Nate. If that sums it up. It's Nate talking mm. to Alex Cooper. Well, guess what? Other people have to become stars since you couldn't afford her. And guess who's next in line? It's Barstool Nate. Friday radio. You'll be watching. That was a hell. Of, you'll be watching. Is a great. Idea. I'm rooting. No, that was fantastic. And I'm saying like it, it. But that is what that is what Dave wants. Dave wants that energy on like a show, and and it's it's not going to be that, which is also fine. Like I'm sure you know he's trying to line up musical guests. He's trying to do whatever. Like he's been trying to do this for a long time. I understand he's been trying to do it for a long time. But just one day, like I feel one day a week, he can bring that energy completely. Like if that was his Friday show every Friday, one hour with the mask on, which is what Dave wants. That would rip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, is, I, I don't I, understand I agree. the resistance. I, I guess the resistance to it is that it's like not sustainable. Otherwise, you'll end up wanting to fucking jump in front of a train if you do that every day. But I think if you're doing more, it once a week. I think it's more like it, the you know the shit that pops off is if he talks shit in here, he doesn't want to make enemies inside here. Like he's friends with people, he doesn't want to be like that's the only thing I can think of. Are you and Nate? You and Nate personally are fine. Like you're gonna be fine after this. Oh, or oh no, no, no. Here's here's the thing: is I will I don't this will be over and I'll be like whatever and I'll just be tired like I was when, before we started the show. <laughs> I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a fucking novel text message about this later and I don't want to deal with it I, I honestly I don't want it I don't want a text message can we just pretend it never happened like that's I can't talk about this anymore after this with Nate like off camera because I just can't do it but the I would Nate like cam? to know I would like to know truly who is in charge of putting who on the radio because I think you're doing it I think this is Kelly's show I mean like let, let, let's just, I don't want to be I don't want to be like if, let's if I'm give not you then... can we can we all okay decide and maybe it, maybe this isn't for me to say, but I would nominate that Kelly have executive power over this show. Yeah, I'm. That's. You, I think I you, you are our it. leader. I think you're the host. I think Here's you're Dave. the best at this. And uh, I, I appreciate. That. I love being your like co-host, but I, I this is this is your thing. I think you've been. I think no one really has a problem with what's going on except for Nate. I'm okay. cool with. I'm cool with Dave my on? schedule. Yeah, grab Dave on. Yeah, see if he'll come on. I think I think we're doing a great job. You sell me when I come in. I come in a couple of days a week. I have a ball. I, all I'm, trying, leave, all I'm doing really is I, yeah. I'm all I'm doing is organizing and trying to think who would who would speak well together. That's all I'm. That's yeah. all I'm doing. Oh, do we just get sh shut down, or is he coming on? Oh, is he coming? Uh, yeah, I see him doing an about face. Oh, he is coming. So what are we gonna say? That Nate just went ballistic and said he doesn't want to do it. I don't know if no. he's watched any of the clips. Maybe we get him up to speed on where we're Time. at. Yeah, all right. All right, here comes Dave Portnoy, so everybody. Just update him on like the Do you want to be, be a little more succinct? Yeah. Hey, Dave. Sure. Hey, Dave. Oh, that's the bad mic seat. Nate and Kelly just got into a uh, blow up fight over radio. So, <sighs> Nate and Kelly, yeah. Yeah, like, I just like, might. Like, you're my... bitter. Fuck you. Fuck you, Nate. I don't want to get a text message. Blah, blah, blah. My patience wears thin with Nate. Wow. Which I which I, I know you understand. And I, I don't think I realized that you did understand it, but you said it yesterday and it made me feel better. He wants to be involved. Uh, there was an issue with Kevin calling like all of us and telling us all we were in charge of radio. Nate was one of those people. I thought you guys chose like. No. Kevin spoke to like he talked to me. He talked to Tommy. He talked to Francis. He Roan. talked to Nate. Talked to Roan. That everybody was like, was like I want it's you your to show. take the show. Got it. And we were like, okay. And then from that point, it was like, all right, who's organizing it? Who's scheduling it? Like mm -hmm. who's figuring out whatever? And I just did that because mm -hmm. nobody else was doing it and Kevin wanted to start the switch over a lot faster than we thought. He wanted to do it like the next day. So mm -hmm. he just did it. And Nate, I think it's a great logo by the way. Thank mm -hmm. you. Cool, right? Yeah. Thank you for saying Continue. that. Continue, sorry. I appreciate that positivity. So um Nate is wanting to be very involved. Of course. And I said of course and we're like, all right, but here's the thing. At this point, Francis and I are gonna be on every day because that we're just comfortable and we're comfortable with each other. After that, we've got Pat, Tommy, Gia, and Nate, who are rotating third and fourth chairs for the whole week. And so I'll do the scheduling, who meshes up with who, depending on what's going on, no big deal. I thought it was all fine. It's not fine, because he wants to be on every day. Right. And then he also wanted to bother me about Friday. He says, nobody's working on Friday. I'm going to work on Friday. We shouldn't have to beg to work on Friday. That whole fucking thing. Right. You obviously caught all that yesterday. Yes. I said, okay, at literally anything to get you to stop texting me about this Friday sounds great. If you're going to do it, you're going to schedule with people. You'll schedule with producers. You'll do whatever it is to do to make it happen on Friday. Go for it. I think, why not? You, you've you been here a long time. Whatever. Whatever you need to do, let it happen. So then he had to run it up the pole. He's talking to you. He sends you that vague text message, like all that shit, whatever. 
at, at that point, I'm kind of like, whatever. I Let it happen. Do Friday radio. It's all fine. My problem is that he's pretending like he didn't badger his way into this. And I'm like, Nate, I, you've been texting me nonstop about it. We only got This has been happening two and a half weeks. And I've talked to Nate on the phone, on the text messages, in emails, more than I've ever talked to in my entire life. Because he wants to be involved in this, doesn't well, want to yeah, be squeezed yeah. out, which I understand. He wants to be a star. He right, wants to be front of yesterday. camera. He he has front of camera disease, which he's had forever. And, and, you know, like what he did yesterday is he's very good at. Like, that's what people want. So I don't know if he was screaming in here oh, earlier. It was, he so, was, Pat, no, no, explain that, why. That's great. Explain like, that's what, probably great radio. Yeah. The problem is he, he, I don't just say he wants to be Walter Cronkite. Like, he doesn't, he wants people to enjoy him the way he wants to be enjoyed. Yes. So he doesn't want to be <laughs> like, his value is when he's the spider monkey and out of control and freaking out. Like you go all the way back when he went to Vegas with Smitty, he tried to burn the footage of, he didn't want that released. Like Smitty released that against his will because it did, he didn't like the way he's portrayed. So as long as he wants to be portrayed as, you know, 6'4", muscles, the funniest guy in the room, and everyone's like, gee, that Nate, he's a hilarious, like, awesome-looking, like, great guy. He's not, and he's this annoying spider monkey that I want to buy a birdcage for, you know? Mm -hmm. So if he embraces that, he's good. What he did it sounds like today. Probably oh, he was went. Good. He said, uh, "Oh, well, well, it was." It was. Pat, you're illustrious for your career. Yeah, Kelly, you're it was bitter. Good. Blah blah blah. Yeah, it was good in the good. first half, and I then it started so too, to yeah. get. It started to get because that. Well, that's what it is. It's. It was good in the first half. He turns it on, comes in with like a mood that's like I don't want to even talk about this. Wouldn't come on. Kept was sitting at his desk watching radio. We had video and of denied it, it, and then pretend it has. I haven't watched radio all day. We yeah. literally have video of him watching that's radio. Right. Is there a version of a show like that? I was trying to tell him a version that I thought you might like where it's almost like healthy debate where he stands in front of a green screen with the mask on and like takes calls and just eviscerates everyone on Fridays. Like, is that a version of a show that you would like support? Is that something you would want to see rather than him just sitting I, in the chair? I mean, I, I don't know. Support C. It's like I, there are the world needs ditch diggers, too. Like he is good at being an editor. So I there's always if you're not doing what you should be doing, which is writing blogs, editing, things like that, like that's what you're hired for like it just takes away when you're doing other stuff i know he's never going to be a successful content person it's just not happening and that's not to be mean to him he he doesn't have that in his bag he's tried over and over and endlessly and it just doesn't he he does listen if i could throw a 97 mile per hour fastball i go play in the major leagues i can't not everyone can do everything he can't he's good when he's crazy but i he doesn't no matter what he says, he doesn't want that to be the type of content on a regular basis. He doesn't. Do you so. think if he could, like, summon up that crazy on a Friday for an hour? And it was like every Friday he goes fucking nuts. He doesn't want he to. Works. I already yes. asked, right when he sat down, I said, would you wear the mask? He said no because he thinks it's belittling. Like he does. <laughs> so it's not his thing. I do have a question on the show. How much, like – work do you do before you sit down in the chairs like i honestly when i was on with you two the other day i thought it was awful oh okay like i on thought the your phone yeah i thought it was awful really yeah you didn't like my question about I thought there was like almost no forethought it was the first time i had talked since erica left and i thought it was we, like I don't think in I our defense that, in our defense we struggled with knowing that she had not done her announcement yet and it was not clear how much we were allowed to disclose about well, she did. Erica leaving. She, ha she, did. she had, and she did her thing. Because you had the speech to, to the you, company. No, no, she, no, no. By the time we talked to him, she had. But yeah, I, but she, I, because she asked the day before, oh, yeah, and yeah. I'm like, I want to wait till yes. Erica talks. And Erica talked, and I came on the next day. For Barstool Radio, I'm sure, like in my mind, that I, I don't think, I think part of the problem why I haven't done shows, it's like, and I've said it, I don't like not, like, I feel using Dan not to do Chicago, New York, one of his very good traits is he somehow, whether it be part of my take, yak, whatever, they are like prepared with like bits, get, segments, things like they know. Whereas if you just sit down and go, it's hard to like build. So like for that on an interview, I'm like, oh, those were like not great questions to me on like really, I, I literally hadn't spoken about it yet. So like I didn't realize, yeah, I didn't realize you hadn't spoken about it, and now now I have regrets. But I do think that um, 
moving forward for radio, we're trying to do it a little more structured like that, where it's planned out and there's it's not quite just an hour long conversation of people talking nonstop. I think trying to figure out the right mix of people to do that with is what we've been doing the past two weeks. And I think Barcel Radio has struggled. I think Kevin's yeah. same when we were doing it. It's like people do so many things at this company a lot of times, but if you don't like most shows should have a decent amount of preparation yeah. into the show and thought on unique segments, ideas, things, concepts. If this is like, I didn't even know it was still continuing. I knew Kevin had like basically cannibalized KFC radio. We talked about that and the yeah. numbers that he really was. So it made sense, but I thought it was just going to be done. I'm fine with it going, but I don't think it should just go for the sake of going. No, and it's not going to continue. I think we've alluded to this a few times on the show, but I'm, I'm also trying not to like alienate the people that do like Barcel Radio, which is like a kind of a honestly more than I thought. It was more people liked the version of it than I thought. But I think that we're trying to move forward and make it a little bit different, make it more structured, make it something that yeah, we can enjoy. Like the inside Barcel. That's for always sure. a place and for that's that. Not a, and that yeah. can always, but there's so many other. Completely. Like, I do think the dynamic. There's something interesting there, but I don't think you can just sit down and be like, like, I don't know who's making these for. These are not. No, no. We haven't talked about anything. These are just kind of like loosely what's going on in case we need something to talk about. But I feel like the past couple couple of weeks, we've tried to be a little more conversational again, trying to like fall into a a, a rapport, you know, just kind of. Be comfortable with one another because none of us have really we've all worked together before but we've not done daily shows together and whereas like chicago the yak obviously the show is a monster but they've been doing it for years now they're they're, they're a well-oiled machine they have like 20 people working on that show who have ideas and they have a group, group chat right. and all that shit which is fantastic and i would love for the show to be that though, though, at the, some point it had that though those two have dan's fingerprints on it with like I don't even know where they come up. Oh, like you said, they have a lot of people, but like it's very silly stuff EMT too. It's a little different. Not and yeah. Yak yeah. both yeah. have like these segments that like become mm -hmm. critical to their show, and people like attach themselves to it. Whether it's like the wet wheel or whatever the fuck they do, I don't know where they come up with it, mm -hmm. but it certainly and all almost successful shows have that element. For sure, mm -hmm. I I agree completely. I'm a I am at my core a segment person. I am constantly trying to make a schedule make a uh, segment situation like almost in an annoying way i need the balance between like fun and right, yeah. you know every 15 minutes something starts like i just like a, yeah, I didn't I don't like a that structure it just was right. more to me like i know that's part of what i felt with dave porno shows like i was just sitting down and we we're just going and there wasn't it's like it there wasn't thought put into like what the show should be so mm -hmm. i don't know I maybe, feel that. maybe the dog is that thought <laughs> maybe the dog, dog is that editing yeah, I don't he know. Has, he's the editor of our blog. Yeah. That's a full time job. He looks in the mirror, he sees Brad Pitt. I mean, yeah. like... <laughs> are you going to watch on Friday? Are yeah, you, you going to watch on Friday? You got to watch on Friday, right? Yeah, I'll probably pay a little attention. But <laughs> yeah. it, 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 I mean, I like Nate and I hate him. Like, yeah. Is it 50 50? Is it more love? No, or most hate? of the time I hate. But like, yeah. I guess the most love you'll know it's hate. But it's always <laughs> been that way, you know? It's been like he, he's just an interesting cat. But I, I'm i glad he's our weirdo, and I, he means well. And I think he'd, like, die for the company. But, uh, you know, he, he's delusional. Delulu. He is Delulu. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of Delulu floating around, you know? Yeah, he's, he's truly Delulu. Mm -hmm. Like, I know he thinks he knows better than I do everything about this company. Like, everything... He knows what to do better than I. I know he knows. You or think I know that, really think that he thinks he could run this place better than you? One hundred. He is Dwight True. <laughs> I mean, he quite literally is Dwight True reincarnated. What has he said to you that's made you, you like, like that? I can't think tell. that like that's that's well, led that you to fame, believe that. that famous. I'm second in command at this company. Well, no, there, yeah, but there's the famous when we were doing year-end reviews. He sat down for an hour and a half and didn't mention his name once and just criticized every single person in content. He's like, this is what they're doing wrong. This is what they're, it's like his review. Very Nate. Who did, did he hit people in the That's room? Right. He got all of us? He hit every single person. Of course. Like, like, like every person like he had. years ago. Yeah. This is three years ago? Yeah, this is why. I, oh, I've talked about it a lot. He got mad when I talked about it, but that's Nate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That makes sense. I don't know what to do about him. I think, like, you know, it's fine. I think maybe I just have You have no choice. Do I need like, to have more patience? Like, what do I need have, to do? That's the thing. There's nothing you can do. It's, it's frustrating like, for me because I feel bad. I feel bad now. His, I feel bad that I yelled like at him, at and it's like. Mercy. It's not. It's like, 
It's not like how do you I handle? You ever feel Nate? bad when you it's yell like at him? Like you're in his cobweb. It's like yeah. you feel bad now that she went. You went nuts on him, and now you. Feel oh, bad. I never feel. No, bad. I, I feel a little bad. A I feel a little bad only because now you know it's like it's like oh Nate sucks at radio. Like that sucks. I shouldn't be punching down on a, on a situation. But, but he it's thinks like, you're punching but he, up. But he's pissing me off. Like he just he he. Well, like what made you generalize? Be like good. I, I don't think you ever did. No, no, I think I you never, just brought him in because me. you felt like you had to. It was, I felt like I had to because Kevin told everybody, everybody's like, you're in charge, you're in charge. You're, and then it's like, all of a sudden, if I didn't like compile everybody and start making a schedule, I don't know if it would have happened. Like We would have had days off. We would have lost momentum, whatever. So I was just like panicking and being like, all right, cool. I have been given this opportunity. I don't want to fuck up. I want it to be good. Like Let's let's do it right and try to make it something fun and whatever. And I, you, think you know, sucks the two fun weeks in, it? two weeks in, sometimes, yeah. So for me, yes, because you won't leave me alone. I'm like, what is it like about him oh, actually uh, actually way. on radio? That, uh, he's like, brutal that way. No, He'll on get radio, you he's not he's, even like anywhere. He, he, he's doesn't know when the conversation is over. Like that's, he has yes. no clue when to leave a room, stop talking. Like it's just circular and you just gotta leave them there like half the but And again, I feel bad saying that, but it is true because that, that carries into like real life traits. But yes, that's that's the situation. Like I yeah, can't I can't, you can't, I can't like, feel bad because he doesn't feel bad. Yeah, you're right. I feel bad so like when he was in here screen like lashing out, I felt bad. Why? I, like, I don't, I don't like know because he was like he I felt like he was like a like dog that. like backed well he's that's funny he was like a dog backed into a corner and like everyone is just like going at Nate and I'm like Jesus do I have to do I, should I be where are we going Nate? we weren't going at Nate we were said I was yelling I was mouthing off before he came in here because he was pretending like he's like I'm not gonna come on radio unless they ask me to and I said well we're not gonna fucking well, beg you to come on that's exactly we I said, I'm not gonna fucking beg you to come on yeah oh this. We've gone through all of this. When I know. we were doing Barcelona Radio, he would do this exact song and dance where he'd act like he didn't want to come in. He'd be walking back and forth. Then you get him in, he wouldn't leave. But he, he, listen, he wants to be front of camera. Whether you want to say front of mic, front of camera, whatever, he wants to. He has always wanted to. He has tried and he sucks. But maybe he'll maybe Friday is when he reinvents himself. <laughs> so it could Friday, be. But he doesn't Friday. want to be. The spider monkey. And I don't know how sustainable, like once a week, maybe if you just go crazy and air your grievances. That's what I was to but say. the the yeah. truth of the matter is he is sensitive. Yeah. So like he that is where it, you can't it's not like a healthy thing to be doing that and being like spider monkey because then people come back at you and then sensitivity. So it, it just I've come to the conclusion years and years and years ago it's just not going to work. To his defense defiance credit whatever you want to call it he keeps trying and as long as this company's here he mm -hmm. will we can be like the jetsons in some weird <laughs> futuristic technology he's gonna be trying to weasel his way to like the front of it be like i'll do it but you know he, he just can't i guess we'll see but this is now Party thing. Well, now it's no. a thing. Well, in my in my like, head. Do you like it? No, his thing is like cause. Yeah, yeah. Like coming like, on and failing on an right. international scale. Almost, almost having a show. Oh, I think that this like he could have come in here He's and and been going off and sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he could have come in here, and it could again. We could have been promoing for this big Friday show all I'm week, like over and over. Do people, a lot. I started Dave walks to work to yeah. prove a point. <laughs> where he was doing all this stuff. I was like, dude, I can walk to work and put the camera on and I will get a quadrillion more views. And I just start walking to work. I Like, we have done this over. He's like, oh, because he was saying how many listeners or people or something. I remember that during the pandemic on his roof and <laughs> you were like, oh, yeah. try it. You were like, everyone should be trying things and doing this and whatever. And then Nate tried something and you were like, no. Well, and he had like four views. Name. It's like, why are you doing this? Yeah, he had, I think, like four concurrence or something. It's like, God bless him, he tries. But again, everybody gets to an age where they're like, I'm just, I don't have it to be a pro athlete. It's not in my bag. I wasn't born with it. I'm going to have to find something else. He finds it. He's good at what he does. But what about Dave and the dog? You would never do a pilot of Dave and the Dog. I, I think I a think one thinks, pilot. I would think a pilot. Too. He thinks you not saying yes to doing that show is what's holding back. Yeah, no, he career. thinks I've held him back. Yeah, Bro, like uh, yeah. I, I, there's this stud talent, and we just won't 
let him blossom. It's <laughs> it's nuts. Does part of you want to like? I feel like part of you, and like deep down, part of you is like, I would rip one episode of Dave and the Dog just to. It doesn't have to be like a consistent thing. Just maybe one time you get in there with Nate and be like, all right, show me what the fuck you got, Nate. Friday radio. Yeah. Give me your real opinions. Where it's almost like a reverse. I would portal. do like a one Dave and the Dog again. I don't. One episode, I think, is, is good. And then if it's fantastic, then then maybe a month later you do another one, and then yeah. and then it kind of builds up from there. We give him these these flashes, uh, uh, like it, when he did the award show roast speech. Great. Fantastic. Right. But then he took that and has, on a weekly basis, come to me and been like, I'm pretty sure I need to be doing stand-up um, <laughs> and like getting involved. And I've written a couple jokes. And I'm like, let's hear him. And then he's like, well, I fucked my dead grandmother's <laughs> eyeballs. Yeah, yeah. Corpse, like, come. And it's then I'm like, I bad. don't know, man. That's a little <laughs> out there. Um, <laughs> he used to rank those blogs. He used to rank the employees were very good. So Absolutely, not, and we tell him anymore. to. Yeah, he says do he doesn't that. want to do it anymore. Yeah, so that, but that is. I don't know why. That is him. It's yeah. like he finds something. He's like, no, I don't want to do it. And he does as much as he says it. He doesn't like, contra- like the, the he doesn't like the spider monkey. He does not like it. If he did, he would have embraced it. We tried to do that. Oh, oh no. Uh, he probably just heard that you committed to soft committed to a Dave and the dog. The the soft I got commit you, to Dave I, and the I dog. I got a soft commit for a Dave and the Dog, a pilot episode. What would you guys talk about if not for me? <laughs> That's my question. This has been all of yesterday, all of today. All you guys can do <laughs> is not get my name out of your mouth, your mouth, especially your mouth. And- well, I, I I just did a podcast. I was coming in. And they said you guys had a it, explosion today in here. It, you had a lot you wanted to get off your chest about me, not to me though. What are you talking about? Just what are you talking about? You I had know exactly nothing. What I'm talking I, had, about. I had nothing to get. I haven't said all anything of a sudden new. it was the Nate Bash Hour. Because, and I, I don't. Bl- I don't blame new. you guys for continuing to turn it back to me when Dave's in here saying that this show is unprepared and this show's bad and your interview. Well, that stuff. wasn't about you. I don't blame you. No, I don't blame them for turning it back. Also, I was trying to get you a Dave me. and the Dog, and I did. I got you a soft I, Dave, Dave and the Dog. Dave wanted to do Dave and the Dog. Dave would he do said Dave he would. Two seconds. Dave wanted to do Dave and the Dog. Dave would do Dave and the Dog. Doing one episode. He's doing one episode. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Someone's there you checking go. the bottom line. Someone needs the high end sponsorship. You're so delusional. <laughs> I was doing my fucking podcast, You're walking welcome. back. Which one, the teenage one? It, yeah, BFFs. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the, I was walking back in. Grace France. And they they said you had an explosion when I come on Barstool Radio. I didn't. I've not said one thing new about you in here. I'm saying, no, I'm said. saying you just read off the list. Like you, you're the truth. You one, do the list, and you go. Oh, what happened nine years ago that I can nine bring up? Years. What happened seven years ago that I can bring up? No, I get it. I get. Do you want to be I in front get, of camera? I get the bit. I half. <laughs> it, I when That's I feel like. What's the issue? I think it's I think it's he wants you to fully commit to Spider Monkey. But isn't that isn't that the fun of it? Is that I do what I want and then you say what you want and then I say what I want and round and round and round we go. Isn't that the fun of it all? I don't know. Is, the, is it? Is it for you? Of, isn't that the fun of the content company that we don't even know who's living in what gray area and what's real and what's not and what's fake and what's real? Is that not the fun of it, Dave? I, I'm lost. No, I don't know what you're referring to. All of a sudden you're lost. What do you mean? You have big enough glasses on, you can find it, Dave. You know exactly oh. what I'm saying, you old fuck. This is an advertiser. Oh, they look great. <laughs> Thank you. What's the promo code? Why are you going after his age? What's yeah. the promo code? It's gray. It looks gray. I feel like some of, once you get into a no, corner, I have like a your, your insults get like. I have a serious question, Kelly. What was the genesis of being upset with me, like this morning? The genesis of being upset with you during that conversation was that you're acting like you don't you don't want to come on the show, you don't want to be involved. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, you're up my ass, and you're acting like you're not, and you're saying that I'm bitter. I'm not bitter at all. I said, do Friday. Just just stop texting me about radio. I, I just checked Did my text. Did I not te- send you a text? I just checked my text. I ha- the last four texts about radio are you to me. I have not bothered you about radio since Kevin was offering it to all of us, and you took the reins with Francis, and I was like, that's great. And I have said this behind behind the scenes. It's Kelly's show. That's great. They're going to run with it. I have not said a single thing otherwise when it comes to that. That's not, that's not what I hear Genesis. from Still Scenes people. Still Scenes people come up to me, and they're like, Nate says this, Nate says this. And I'm like, are you starting scene. shit? Well, I say, are you starting shit, or is that for real? But then I'm like, how would they know that? Because that was a personal text conversation I, I have with I Nate. have not talked shit about you. I don't know if I believe you, but fine. Can I ask you a question? Of course you can, Dave. You're the boss. Do you think I've held you back from being in front of camera? I don't think you have necessarily held me back, but I think you understand that 
you have a lot of control on how I'm perceived and everybody's perceived. If you want someone to succeed, you elevate them more, you push them more, you say more good things about them. You say, oh, they're talented. They're the next this, they're the next that, even if they're not. With me, and I think it's because I've been here for a very long time, employee number nine, no equity. I think with me, you know what buttons you can push and you know that I'll go back at you, you'll go back at me and we have this rapport. You don't have that with everybody, which is great. But I do think it. you like to make yourself laugh. You like to... You like your gestures. You like your, what do you call it, weird brains. Uh, you like that, and you don't want to lose them. So if you so think, you think uh, you I'm think scared someone, of losing you, so I've held you back from I think content? You're, you like, your, you like keeping that what your you're gestures. Saying? You like keeping your gestures in a line, and but you don't that's like. What, that, that, you are certifiably insane. Have I said anything inaccurate? Yes, all of it. No, incorrect. <laughs> Well, of course I, you're going to say that. Well, no, I, I let me rephrase. Sure. I like I like being the bus balls with you. I like the the bullpen gestures, whatever you want to say. If I thought you could be a star or bring in money as a front of camera person, that would be great. I, the fact you think I've held you back from that is delusional. I don't know if it's so much held back, but you definitely don't want. There's people you don't want to see succeed. That's just not true. I think it's true. Smitty, maybe? <laughs> like, honestly, who wouldn't I want to succeed? It's whatever you feel that day. You wake up some days and you just are in a bad mood and you you stop people from elevating. Who else other than Smitty? I mean, I on the <laughs> well, I But that's just not true. With one tweet, you can change the entire Internet's perception of people. True or false? Is it the internet or Twitter's perception? Alt. It's yeah. the internet. I don't know. It's, I, I feel like I feel like you're putting a lot more stock in in like but you're, little, you're little being jokes. Delusion, I'll makes. tell you how the people who rise to success here is because of their talent. It's not because of me being like this. If I say someone's gonna, I think gonna be successful. A, I think they are, but they don't become because I say I don't king make the people here. Look who are the wild stars here, Dave. or or graduated from here. Whether it's a McAfee and Alex Cooper, a Big Cat, all these people are wildly talented. You're wildly untalented. From I, I would say I know my limitations. I know I don't, you. You don't. You have is, no idea. I've been here eleven years. Of course I do, Dave. No, of you, course I do. You, you still. You've even. Of course said, I do. You think. I I've held you back from front of camera. That's bad verbiage. It's not that you've held me back. It's that you know what you can do to keep me where you – like to keep the opinion of me where you want it to be. You like just, he hasn't poured any gasoline, a, a little drop like of gasoline. I haven't built up and been like this Nate guy's like – Here's the thing. I know my limitations. I know that I am no. what I am. Of course I do, Dave. Why do you think you can be front of camera? Of course it, well, here's the thing. Whenever I am in front of the camera, what do I do? I steal the show. Whether it, you can go all the way, you can go all the way back to my first year here. You can go all the way back. The Travis Pastrana Indy 500, who stole the show? Me. The Katie Nolan Dog Show, who stole the show? Me. We did a DraftKings commercial for the app. Who was the star of the show? Me. When we fast forward to, uh, to the fucking the the 20th anniversary show. Who? God damn it, that what? show sucked. But who stole the show? What? I did. Hey, your Survivor. The who was the star time. of the show? I was. Su Survivor. You were on there for four. Survivor seconds. was like your yeah, poorest showing maybe part. of all time. But <laughs> but. Nate, you say all this, every example you've mentioned have been, for the most part, people laughing at you, not... Which is fine. No, it isn't, because then at fine. the same breath, you'll be like, you hold me back with these tweets. So, what is it? Like, It's it, fine that... You just bragged about how you've stolen shows and done all yeah. this. They're all in a manner where it's like, that crazy Nate. That's but great. then you get that's mad. Great. That's no, great. No, you just that's said great. I hold you back. That's great. But how could I hold you back if that's? I what said you holding me back is bad verbiage. I already ran that one back. I already took but, that one back. But you're saying like I keep saying I said negative. that when I took it back. I took I've, Dave. I took that back. Nobody has. Dave, been, I took that back. Nate. Nobody has been more pro Spider Monkey than me. Okay. Okay. So then I'm helping you, but you haven't embraced that. I, I but then you brag about it. It's like look at all these high moments. Then you'll go. I don't want to. I don't want to be like talent like that. I don't want people to laugh at me like that. I don't want that to be who I am. But that's the moments that you have catapulted. Yeah, like and I knock. I knock those moments out of the park. If it, if you're, but it's not if you're Spider purpose. Monkey twenty four seven three sixty five. Then you're. Then you're just. What moments where you have been intentionally trying to be funny have worked? I don't know, like fifty thousand blogs. Exactly. Yeah. All right. And then when I when I hop in front of the camera, I steal the show, and then round and round oh. we go. You're kind of saying what I'm saying. We can do this forever.
unfortunately, I know you can do this forever. <laughs> I cannot. But yes, blog, blog. That's, I agree. But you still don't want to be the guy who, when he makes great content, it's great content and like an unintentional. I've been doing that for 10 years, Dave. And you've asked me out of it for 10 years. But I haven't. Oh, my God. Because when I want to be in, I'll go in. Did, the Smitty footage in Vegas, did you want that released? The Smitty footage, no. It's a good example. Thank you. It's a good example. The other day when the we, when you, the other day when you out of your, went out of your way to the say. The time I stole the show, you're right. Yeah, but it's <laughs> like, I forgot about that. God, there's so many, I can't even keep but, track but of them all, you're, Dave. You're saying both. You didn't want this to be released. I, Dave, when you're right, I can say that you're right. I don't have this like crazy so ego like you about? do. I can say when you're what right. What am I wrong about in this conversation? I think we're both right. I think we're saying the same thing. Which is what? It, that I'm a great writer. When I'm in front of the camera, I steal the show. That you want me to always be the spider monkey. I don't want to always be the spider monkey. But when I am, it's great. And I elicit reaction. And that's why I've been here forever. And that's why you should that's give not me why equity. You've been here forever. What? That's not why you've been here forever. Because I'm talented. You're a good writer. Yeah. Good blog. Yeah, you're the right. editor of the box. It's an important position. Right, I agree. So? I don't know what we're disagreeing then. We're always on the same wavelength. It's so crazy. then you should not be front of camera. I should be. I should be. Why? Because then you get moments like this. Dave and the dog. But Dave and the dog. Is, you get moments like the roast. You get moments like yesterday on the rundown. But those are moments. Yeah, and that's where I shine. But what about every, what about every day? Lunatic. Can you shine every day? Maybe. Who's to say? Once a week, you'll try. Once, a, Once week? a week, I definitely will. Okay. Hey, Dave, you've been wrong about people. Yeah. You've been wrong about people. I've been Not over, not over, like, how long have you been here? 11 years. It's year 11. Not over an 11 year span. I, I'm not saying I'm you. I'm not saying I'm Big Cat. I'm not even saying that I'm That's Kelly Keegs. I'm not even saying any of that. I'm saying that when we're doing our thing and we're doing the, you know, the pick and roll and the three man weave, I can shine just like everybody else here. The team, the team, the team. Anybody can be a star. Your words, not mine. I'm not going to be able to use that anymore. Oh, thank yeah, you God. Really You've been can. using it every day for 12 I, I, years. I'm not going to. Be I won't take it seriously. Dave, you know the scene in the out. office? You, you ruined that fucking painting. No, you yeah. ruined it eight you years ago. It. You ruined it. Eight we you all make it. fun of it, Dave. You ruined it. Everybody makes no, fun of it. No, you make fun of it. You everybody make fun makes of it. fun of it. You, you make fun everybody of makes it. Everybody makes fun of it. There's a painting. Not true. There it is. Where is it? It's on the screen. Oh, there it is. No, you always make fun of it. You you make that joke all the time. Like, oh, put the glitter in no, the star. Like and we're a, all like, ha like, ha. He feels like he's got no glitter. No, there's a pop you, in you, the you, office you, when you bring it up at meetings. There's like a Stone Cold you, Steve Austin You ruined pop. it. I'm glad. I'll never I do am, it again. I am so glad I ruined or it. Or I'm going to do it again and say, excluding Nate. Well, I mean, everybody <laughs> knows that. Not you. My, my star has no glitter. Correct. You you package it up and give it no, to no, the no. mean girl. No, you no, just no. want a little glitter. No, you just want a little glitter. It never had glitter. I looked for the glitter. The glitter was gone. You gave it to Woodruff and Bennett. I know. I know what you did with my glitter. <laughs> would you give him a, you're, you're going to give him a little pinch of glitter? He, I, he would. Yeah, I'm like a little Oliver pinch. Twist. Please, sir, a little glitter. <laughs> Just a little glitter, Dave. One, a like, a more, like a morsel of glitter. It, it would be a, like, ignorant waste of glitter. Yeah. What if it was infinity? Uh, what if I, what if I was blonde? If there was what if I was a blonde haired girl? Then what? A little glitter? But you're using this analogy. I, the, using yeah. Alex Bennett. Blame, who, blame Gaz, right? What are you talking about? Just for the constant boosting of them. They're superstars. I think Alex Bennett could have been. And this isn't a shot of them. It's just like you. Was, well, you no, no, no. You you pick and choose. You pick and choose who to give glitter you, to. You, you, you're, you, we gave glitter. I've given. You want to go blonde women that I've given glitter to? Jenna Marbles. Marbles. Cooper. Alex Bennett. Cooper. Worked out okay for two of the three. For them, yeah. two, two of the biggest female stars in the digital age. Yeah, Marvels. Yeah. yeah. But you'll be like, you know, Alex Bennett was here less than a year. More you were here 11 years. 11 years. One year 11. 11 years. Point nine. Like, you are what you are, which isn't bad. Which is, what, that's what I started with. That's what you'll I go can't. back. We've had this discussion and we go around, but you'll be like, nope, I can't. What we're doing right now is who I am, Dave. This is who I am. We had this discussion so many times, and you'll go back. It's the best. Eventually, put, put a clock on it when Nate hit pout mode, where he's like, nope, I'm just editor guy, because your content fails. We've given you the chance. Just because I like you. You've earned the chance to fail. I like you. What's that? I like you, too. Thank you. You should. Yeah. 
Give me I also life. think the the one thing you're ignoring is that me or you're, Dave. probably you yeah. that you're saying that like every time you mix it up with Dave, it's electric. Yeah, I think that's like saying every time I play with Michael, Michael Jordan, Jordan, yeah, I, knew you were I go play there. well. Like yeah, anytime but, I'm but with here's Big the thing: Cat, it's good. Who, who else will do with Dave what I do with Dave? You won't. You won't. You won't. No, you don't. I do. I'll takes, yell back you, at you. you, you actually, you do. And, and you're then you right. get, and then you, right. no, you're right. And you're then right. you get personal about right. it, which you I don't do like when you get personal about it. On a sustained, like, or, or never mind that. It's like, what happens when it's not this? Like, what's your median? But isn't that, the, isn't that the fun part of it? When you're in the office, shit goes off. It's fun. We make content. We yeah, do but every day it's exhausting, no? Like, the, the fighting is exhausting every day. That's what we're getting at. Like, you are, yes, you're great at fighting. You fighting. can fight to the death, like, right Dave, now. Dave could fight every day for his entire life. Yeah, yeah but, I don't, but it's I, I don't different. do it, like, gratuitously, necessarily. Like, it's real when I'm... Yeah. I, I don't even consider with you fighting. No. It's... A, it's <laughs> I think we're all agreeing here. I feel like yeah, I'm, I, I feel like I've I'm always getting... thought when you're the spider monkey, it's, it's entertaining. Are we doing another award show? Will there be a part two? Oh, good question. The 21st. Uh, I, I don't believe we are. Because we did the Duncan Awards for a while, then that dropped, and then we did the big one. The Correct. A, I know what the awards are. And so are. are we bringing back I don't believe so. smaller Dundee's version? Mm. That, it was fun. That's why I asked. I don't so how so. do we put... How have do you we, been writing jokes for it already? Oh, uh, we have. <laughs> oh, good. So then you can perform them on a Nate Friday, no? No, I'll wait till a bigger event. Okay. Well... So how do we put a, how do we put a button on this? Is it, what, what, what about the thought of you're the editor? Like every... Second, you're not editing or like running the blog takes away from the blog. I, I, that's my top priority, of course. Well, my job is my top priority. I'm not sure that I answered that. Like, if you're in the office on a Friday and you're doing this radio, all this, you're not doing what your top priority is. Sure, but there's a team and we work very well together and. Uh, I trust the team of myself, Clem and Hubs, to handle that one hour I'm doing radio on Friday. I don't think that – no concern there. Okay. We appreciate it, though. And thank you for blogging more often. It's good for numbies. All right. Will we see you on Friday? Oh, okay. did it again. <laughs> All right. So it sounds like we have – we have being like I, I, I'm an electric factory. And it, while it can be good, he walks out thinking he's Michael Jordan. That yeah, yeah. That is the issue. It's just the best numbies on social, on radio, on Rumble that we can get. Dave and the dog. Thank you, okay. Dave. Okay. Wow. Well, it sounds like we have a lot on the horizon. Sounds like we have uh, Nate Fridays is still happening. He, Dave didn't cancel it. I thought maybe for a minute he was going to, but he didn't. And it also sounds like we may have a pilot episode of Dave and the Dog credit to on me. the way. He credit to you, by the way. Me of whatever he was calling. Yeah, me. you do. You deserve I credit for that. I, I, he can't. He can't. Uh, you know. Ooh. Be be such a such a cunt to the. Sorry, can I say cunt? I don't know. Um, to the people who are at, who are actually nice to him, but I think that. Um, that all of this fighting, all of this is happening. It's just getting me riled up for, for Thursday night's Rough and Rowdy, okay? Yeah. Mm. Roughandrowdy.com nice on Thursday. Play. You're welcome. I'm going to uh, to talk about this. We've got on Thursday, it's in Providence, Rhode Island. We've got Dave Portnoy, Big Cat, Robbie Fox, Roan, Caleb Large, Jersey Jerry, and Frank the Tank all returning for commentary for three hours of entertainment. you got three hours of all of your favorite people. The main events inc include a dwarf title fight, Bobby Lang defending his heavyweight belt against a six foot six monster. Interesting. Vicky D versus a 39 year old angry mom and Lord Burns versus Backclip Ninja and live ring girl contest after the final bell. The peep review is available at buyrnr.com. Go do that. Rough and Rowdy is the best thing we got going. It's, Providence, everybody baby. knows 20 that. bucks. 20 bucks. Awesome. That's Rough and cheap. Rowdy. That's nothing. Yeah, that's nothing. Rough and Rowdy is great. Um, but before we sign off, how do, how do we feel about all that? I'm, I'm still eating myself up over how our interview with Dave was bad after Erica. He's I right. Know, that, that, that wasn't good. And I'm I didn't so feel glad good. I wasn't here for that. I didn't feel so good bad. after it, to be honest. And then I thought I was being hard on myself. Yeah, I, I, but I, I don't know. I, I'm bummed I, about that. I must be misremembering it because I felt when we were talking to him that we kept saying like... We don't know how much we can let on about this or, you it know, was, I thought up to that point, I hadn't seen that Erica had released her. She put a video out. Thing. Yeah, we she put a video out. We didn't watch that because it came out. I didn't feel, um, I got a little worried about, uh, just just about, sometimes with that kind of stuff, I get worried about what's rude to say, what's not rude to say. Mm -hmm. I, I, I sh we should have been more prepared for that for sure. 
Fair enough. Should have felt more prepared. Um, well, we'll, time we know. We will keep working on it. If yeah, we you will. guys have sort of things that you've liked so far from the show or suggestions about more structured recurring bits, segments, uh, I think we'd be very open to that Absolutely. feedback. Um, and I'm a little, this that whole thing we just watched was very surreal. It was like very surreal give him a spec I, what if I kept thinking of I am oh. tired I'm like remember, I, now I like need a nap you remember know? the um that video that went viral of that kid who had autism who was like the equipment manager for the basketball team and his last game or whatever they let him on oh, the yeah, yeah, court yeah. and he threw up a, a bunch of threes and made them all oh no, I yeah. didn't see this clip it's like four threes in a row that's I amazing think it would be like if we did that, and then the next year, that kid came back and was like, well, I'm a starter now, right? Yeah, yeah. I Some think degree. like I Also, think yeah, he likes, you know, we, we all like to pick and choose moments, but it's like, again, they're, they're moments, moments over. Uh, it, it's every yeah. day. Yeah, it, it, it's I, tough it, to sustain. I just love that Dave was like, I, what, I go, what if there's infinite glitter? He's like, there's not infinite glitter. <laughs> right. Give him a fucking speck. We'll see. I hope he goes on the show on Friday. I would love to see Dave on. Yeah, I would like to see that too. But then that will feed the beast. Of course, it'll yeah, it'll feed the beast. But then again, it's like Dave can only feed the beast so much, and then people make make of it what they make of it. You know what I'm saying? And if he and if yeah, if he needs that kickstart, he needs Dave on a Friday, Dave and the dog, and then he can sustain it for the rest of the time. Power to him. Love it. Love to hear it. Love to see it. Okay. Okay. We'll see. Wow. You. Well, well done, everyone. Well done. We'll see you tomorrow.